All right, so we're going for a slightly different look today. Got my 35 millimeter on, slightly more cropped in. You have to let me know if you prefer this or if you preferred it before when I had my 18 millimeter on, you saw more of my studio. This may be a little bit too much Mr. Ed Rollo <laughs> in your face, but I'm giving it a try because I've been liking this lens recently. So recently I was asked this question about work-life balance or work slash music slash life balance. How do we balance our work? our music and our life. I mean, what does that even look like? I think this is a really interesting topic and one that doesn't come with a simple solution, but it's definitely worth talking about. So let's go. So if we were to look at this problem of trying to balance our work, our life and our creative outlet or our music and try and relate that to our own lives, then I think we can say that there are external and internal factors that impact this. The external factors being things like our environment, our situation or circumstances, things that are to a degree out of our control. It could be our financial situation, our family situation, just general health and well-being or even just where we are currently in the world. The external factors are going to differ greatly from person to person, so to blanket prescribe some kind of solution for these isn't so easy. Though some of these external factors may be of our own doing in the first place, so we have to be careful not to use these as excuses for us not finding any balance. And this is what brings us to the areas that are fully within our control, which are the internal factors. Internal factors Factors in most cases are what's stopping us from achieving that balance that we all desire. You know, everyone has the same 24 hours in a day, right? But it's how we choose to spend those hours each day that's going to make all the difference in the world. And so this is where we need to really dig deep and take a long, hard look at our values. And I mean, no bullshit. What do you value most in your life? You might need to take a minute, write some things down on a piece of paper, make a list. These are the things that I value most and see if making music even makes the list. It might not. And that's okay. You know, some people value things like owning a house or an expensive car or spending time with their kids or playing sport or a huge paycheck or partying with mates on the weekend. Well, to put things in perspective, I don't value any of those things, but I don't have kids. So don't judge me too hard just yet. Those things are nice, but ultimately they're a distraction from what I know is most important to my soul's evolution. And forgive me for getting all woo-woo on you here, but that's really what it's all about. Is owning a house or a fat paycheck or partying on the weekend going to get you any closer to your dreams with music? Probably not. Or is there this master strategy in place that now is not the time, but eventually when you have more time or you're less busy, you're going to focus on your music? It doesn't work that way. When you start to take music seriously and really value it, and I mean above everything else, life gets pretty simple. You have to make some changes and you have to start saying no to things. You may have to make some tough sacrifices. And you may also find that people around you aren't so supportive of these new changes. I don't believe that one day we'll arrive at a place where we have all this fresh time and space in our lives. We have to actively seek it and actively sort out those windows or those pockets of time and really respect that. Working towards a life where your music is part of your life, it becomes a part of your week. It becomes a part of your daily routine, 20 minutes or half an hour or 45 minutes that you can sculpt out of the day because it's most important to you above everything else. And the people around you are totally aware of that and respect that time that is just for you. So if you can't find balance or you don't have time, just know that we're all busy. It all comes down to what you value most. Anyway, we better leave it there today. I hope this was helpful. I'd be very interested to hear from you all and let me know how you are managing your time. How are you managing or balancing your work, your music and your life? What does that look like? But I'm going to sign off for now. If you did like this video, then please remember to subscribe. It really does help. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up also. <laughs> Until next time, keep creating. Bye for now.